Okay, this is our <coughs> this is our latest uh, reefer trailer conversion uh, into a tiny house. No, actually, not that tiny, but it's uh, this is our third one we've done, and uh, this is probably the best layout one we've done. Uh, it's good shape. It's a utility trailer. It's in good shape. You can see it. There's decal still on it, but they can be removed. Uh, I think. Imagine if you just heat it up a little bit and then remove them. But you can see we've got two doors, so this could be a, a, used as a tiny house, or it could be used as a worksite trailer, office trailer. Um, like a, this is a, just make a quick tour of the outside, and we'll go inside. This is where all the plumbing's going to be. That still has to be coated with uh, a bed liner right there for the exterior. Of it. But it's got four inches of insulation all around in there, and that's where all the plumbing hookups are going to be. Uh, nice out of the way, so you're not taking up space inside. And then we have uh, nice lots of light, lots of windows. It's we're in the middle of the melt here, as you can see. So I'm trying to stay out of the water. Here's the front end where the reefer was. It's uh, it's a little dirty from just road travel and stuff like that. But it could easily be painted over. All the airlocks work, the uh, air fittings, etc. The electrical works good. Uh, the trailer was be safety when it sold. Up there we have. Uh, a vent for a uh, gas uh, fireplace a spot for the air condition that's where it'll be coming out of um, give you a little shot of underneath here <clears throat> underneath is very good shape absolutely nothing wrong with it uh, the wiring is good uh, air, all the air is good tires are good uh, and as you can see this side here has perfect uh, there's uh, again some decals on it but they they will come off and again, it's a utility trailer, and utility trailers, uh, I like them because the way they insulate them. And how they insulate them is they build them all, assemble them, and then they have a machine that goes in there and injects insulation around the studs, the wall studs, uh, around in the floor, uh, even within the, the aluminum uh, flooring inside there with the grooves. Uh, in, amongst that, there's insulation, and the ceiling and everything goes around the corners. It goes around that says there's absolutely no thermal breaks in in the trailer itself okay so we're back around the front here we'll just go in the, the main door here so we're coming into the would be the living room okay nice exterior doors i'll just take off my boots so this is the uh, the view from the inside as you're coming in and uh, you can see there's lots of light in here lots of light and uh, lots of windows here and this is right coming so this would be the, the living room and we can see you can see i'm, I'm trying to sell it un unfinished just to give people more options uh, basically expand my customer base uh, some people may want a solar power some people may want to put a, a wood stove in here or a, it's got a propane gas furnace right now. Uh, some people may want to do, uh, like I say, a cook stove, old fashioned wood stove, but easily keep this place warm. We kept it heated for with a 4,800 watt electric heater. We just put this uh, fireplace in a couple weeks ago. And it's, it's a nice little fireplace you can on here it can be controlled by uh, just a switch there or it can be controlled by a thermostat which I've got on the wall here and you can lower the flame right down and you can raise it right up a three-speed fan very quiet fan and that will easily heat this place it's meant for a 25 heat up to a 2500 square feet these things are about 450 I think so easily easily heated but going back this is the kitchen here uh, lots of cabinets in here, lots of storage for the size of the cabinets. You have drawers everywhere. Smaller drawers like so, there's four of them along here. And then we have two big drawers, like that, another one below it. And then inside the cabinets themselves, they have pull-out shelves. So it's good, very efficient storage. A wooden countertop. Uh, we just have a cable hanging down here that plugs stuff in. But... Uh, Another pa pantry over here, and again, they pull out drawers here. 
and then adjustable shelves in there as well cabinet above the stove so below it would be the stove would be sitting there's lots of room here beside the stove we would have a, a fridge right here we left lots of room for the fridge uh, for a double wide fridge like a combination fridge freezer uh, lots of height above the fridge we have a spot for the air conditioner out of the way and uh, nice laminate flooring in here okay uh, tough nice tough stuff goes right through the kitchen into the living room and then this next room is the bathroom and you'll notice the walls here so the walls i just got cardboard up right here they're studded in with two by fours framing they're just uh we just put cardboard up just to make it easier to visualize the layout here in the bathroom uh toilet small vanity um, and inside here this is where we would uh, plumbing system here the, the pump the pressure pump there if you decide to go that route and here we put the water heater if you don't want that you can uh, you could use uh, various things you got propane water heaters you could have uh, propane fridges electric fridges all sorts of options and then uh, just looking at turn around here uh, shower here stand up shower and then up above here would be a cabinet as well for storage obviously a little bit higher than that for headroom okay and then right down there would be a spot for the washer and dryer okay and uh underneath the floor right here there's a a, pa a panel panel way or a, a spot for the plumbing to run from one side of the trailer to the other and it's well insulated as well it's four inches of trailer and then it leads to that main plumbing box i showed you outside so going into this room and obviously there's a door here so going going into this room now this could be either the bedroom or it could be the second office if you're going to use it for an office office trailer and yeah, it's a nice size room uh same laminate flooring flooring lots of light lots of nice exterior doors well insulated doors most of them are uh the bedroom the bed would be going right here and uh, this is uh, the actual the heater that's been heating it all winter and this is up in canada uh, 30 40 below weather with with wind plus the wind and this 4800 watt heater kept it well well heated i just worked in i didn't have a coat on when i when i worked in here at all uh, behind here is the water tank i think it's a 400 400 tank but there's a heater right now turn that off get rid of that noise for i think it's a 400 gallon water tank uh there's some extra floor in there that would go with the trailer and uh, in other trailers what we've done is we've hung a uh, clothes rod up high here where you can hang clothes and then we put shelves underneath there lower down as well so there's lots of room here and and again um just looking at the insulation uh, as i was saying before the insulation that comes into this refrigerated trailer it's very good insulation it's a closed cell so it doesn't absorb moisture and uh, plus we add another inch and a half layer of insulation everywhere but the ceiling because the ceiling already has like four inches of insulation so these things are made like giant coolers there's no wind that gets in here um, i've been working in here high winds and there's absolutely no no wind that comes in whatsoever nice and warm they're well-made units um uh, look just go back through here you can see up at the ceiling there now the ceiling options there are we can uh we've done it in the past we put drywall up there with led lights uh hung from the ceiling or also we put uh, ceiling tiles fiberglass ceiling tiles that go directly onto those ceiling joists and then we put a trim so similar to what's on the around the doors and the windows and then so you get a grid effect on the ceiling it looks very very sharp matches the woodworking um, yeah and with this trim all these frames are, are the hard part is done in here all these frames are are pre-made they're all glued together already and they're just tacked on here right now just with a couple nails 
so they'll come off easy so whoever decides to buy this if they want to say that drywall uh, they would work you just put your drywall on put your frames on and you're good to go or if, like the last trailer we added solid tongue and groove boards uh, running uh, up and down uh, throughout the trailer so either way they will work for for either one of those and there's the stove nice, nice propane heat you can hear the fan on right now I'll just turn the speed down so you can barely hear the speed there right now and you can also turn the flames down as well so yeah so there it is uh, the latest model 2022 thank you